because it is half time and we are going to talk about another firing in the championship and after an eighth successive defeat um, Mick McCarthy has been sacked by Cardiff City Neil Warnock twisting the knife in on his old mate Mick today and then during the stream you guys are telling me in the chat oh Ben Mick's not at his press conference it looks like he's done and it has been confirmed short and sweet I have to say I've got the Cardiff website up on the other screen um, 17 minutes ago uh, Cardiff City Football Club can confirm that first team manager Mick McCarthy and assistant manager Terry Connor have left the club by mutual agreement and with immediate effect. That's interesting because we were having a lot of chitter chatter um, around um, in the chat here about um, whether the contract was too big to pay up and all of these kind of rumours um, going around. Sorry, I'm getting loads of people telling me that I said Cardiff 2, Middlesbrough nil. I think you know I said it the wrong way around. So, um, yes, it was Cardiff nil, Middlesbrough 2. There's a lot going on with mid Superstream here. Uh, we would like to thank Mick and Terry for their efforts during uh, the Bluebirds, time with the Bluebirds. Wish them all the best for the future. Steve Morrison, um, the former uh, Millwall striker, and Tom Ramasut will oversee first-team duties at this time as the board of directors begin the process of appointing a replacement. Now, Mick hasn't actually been at Cardiff all that long. If you remember last season, um, obviously to paint the really, really big picture, uh, Cardiff up one season in the Premier League, um, relegated under Neil Warnock. So only two years of parachute payments, which is important. Um, only two years of parachute payments. Um, and um, Warnock was gone sort of, I don't know, October, November of the 1920 season. Neil Harris came in. There was a bit of a bounce, a bit of a run. They got into the playoffs and lost to Fulham, who ultimately went up in the playoffs. Harris started the next season. Um, Mick had been doing the Republic of Ireland job. But he actually had a very short-lived job in Cyprus as well before that. And then he was doing the Republic of Ireland job, of course. Um, and then when COVID hit, it was almost like they brought um, Stephen Kenny in a bit earlier and Mick finished. They did have a succession plan there. Mick was available. He started doing the TV again. Um, there's a few jobs um, where he was linked with. I remember Sheffield Wednesday um, at the time. But he did get what was a year two parachute job. I do acknowledge um, he got that 75% of the way through um, those parachute payments and during COVID as well. So um, not necessarily the financial advantage that we normally associate with um, uh, that sort of thing. I'm just trying to find um, where it all started. And I think um, I have sorry let me just get rid of that my phone is bleeping which will no doubt be someone trying to phone me up at Ipswich saying are you at the game no I'm not I'm here um so there you go um I think I've got that right um this run of wins here for um Cardiff um starting at February and it was a it's a great run initially that he had you can see six straight wins um, and then another three undefeated. So um, he basically won seven out of his first nine games for Cardiff. But then, <laughs> he talk about turning points, since then, and I remember that game, you can see there, Cardiff won Watford too. Watford won a dodgy bit of goalkeeping in the last minute of that game. And things never really, really worked um, since then, did they? You can see uh, defeat, draw, win, defeat, defeat. Um I mean, maybe I'm being a bit unfair. He does go unbeaten for the last um, six games. But ultimately, if I were to bring up last season's championship table, they were well off it in the end, um, Cardiff. Um, yes, Barnsley went on a crazy run. Bournemouth went on a decent run under Jonathan Woodgate. But you can see there, Cardiff missed the playoffs by nine points. And at the start of that run, 
under McCarthy. They were in there. And then this season has just been um, a little bit bizarre, really, for Cardiff because they actually started um, fairly well. If you can wade through um, all of the uh, sort of cup games in there, you'll see in the league, um, the first few games, draw, win, draw, win. So they had eight points from the first four and it was all very much, oh, Mick has doubled down on the direct football. You've got Giles crossing in from the left. You've got Pat hurling the ball into the box. Flint was top scorer at one point. And it's all just come crashing down in the worst way. I mean, some would say a slightly aging squad, um, but it's not it's not Warnock's squad anymore, really. Um, and a, a very, um, what's the word? A very kind of work-a-day sort of championship squad with some big, powerful players, some experienced players, but... Yeah, um, well, you tell me what the missing factor is because you can see down there they lost at home to Bristol City. And then when I turn the page, there's another win over Struggling Forest. And then from there on out, look at that. Oh, dear, you can't survive that run, can you? 1-0 defeat at Coventry, uh, 1-0 home defeat against Bournemouth. And then, look, Gnarly, 5-1 at Blackburn, 4-0 at home to West Brom, home defeat against Reading, where. They had the ball for most of the game, didn't they? And um, uh, the XG painted a very unlucky picture of a Cardiff in that one. But hey, when you're down, you're down. Um, Derby Day defeat against Swansea. Um, away trip to Fulham. OK, that's a difficult one against Fulham. But the defeat's just coming thick, thick, thick and fast. And Cardiff nil, Middlesbrough two um, today. And his old mate Warnock. And I suppose the timing... Um, you know, the timing is what it is. They had the international break uh, where it would have been five straight defeats. Um, we then have a three-game week now. Um, and then next week, we then essentially start another three-game week. So um, they've gone for it. Now they haven't given him the next um, three games. Cardiff, they play Stoke, then uh, QPR, and then Huddersfield. So uh, Mick is done. At Cardiff, be interesting to see um, where, um, if, and when um, he's going to pop up again. Obviously, um, sixty-two years old, Mick. So you wouldn't assume he's finished yet, would you? But what we will say now, and I had first-hand experience of Mick, obviously as an Ipswich fan, and I have to say, in the first three years at Ipswich, was really, really good. Then it all tailed off in the worst way. And the narrative that certainly Mick and the press painted was that um, Mick was working for a club with an absentee owner and he was doing his best. He was the good thing there. Everything else was bad. He was holding it all up. And when he left, um, everything collapsed. And... um, I don't know whether people will be revising that now. Yes, when Mick left, everything collapsed. But again, that could still have been because the club had an absentee owner and um, everything after that was, you know, just an absolute disaster. Maybe two things can be true, but I don't know where his stock is now, McCarthy. Now he's gone into Cardiff and he's got this quick failure on his um, resume. Obviously, in years gone by, he was the guy McCarthy, wasn't he? He was the guy that had managed Republic of Ireland and then taken Sunderland up and taken Wolves up from the championship in pretty um, impressive fashion and then got close uh, with Ipswich with, um, as he was very keen to point out himself many, many times uh, without really spending um, anything after Roy Keane and Paul Jewell had uh, ran Marcus Evans' pockets dry. So I'm very interested to know what you think will be next for Mick. Look, He's a charming guy. He's a charismatic guy. Players love him. I'm sure there'll be plenty of owners who will be seduced by his presence and his aura and his charisma in an interview. Um, So we will see whether Mick is going to be back or not. And also, anyone, any ideas who you think um, who you think replaces Mick at Cardiff? Um, uh, Let me know in the comments what you think on 
that one. Um, and uh, with half time quickly coming to an end in the super stream, uh, we will stop talking about Mick McCarthy there and implore people. I'll clip this out uh, to get your comments in after the fact as we react to the news that Mick McCarthy has been sacked as Cardiff City manager.